What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have for you a third, I think, edition of Ball Splanations, a continuation of a series that I started when this channel was just mine. I want to bring the same kind of information to you guys as the TV Bowling Supply brand. So today, as you may have seen from the title, should you be buying a heavy oil bowling ball? I'm going to explain that. Now, the first thing we have to do is we're going to have to answer two very important questions. Number one, what is a heavy oil bowling ball? And then number two, what is heavy oil? Now the first question is going to be a little bit easier, a little bit more simple, more straightforward uh, to explain. The second one, we're going to delve and dive a little bit deeper into that because heavy oil is probably one of the most unexplained things in bowling, probably one of the most important and one of the most misunderstood uh, topics in bowling. So we're going to cover that in this video. So let's get right into it. So what is a heavy oil bowling ball? Well, you could probably walk into your local pro shop and just look at the, the ball that's in the top shelf, uh, the one that has the highest price tag on it, and you'll probably find the heavy oil bowling ball. But what really is it? Typically heavy oil bowling balls for all brands, you know, whether it be Storm Rotor, Grip Niner Global, uh, the Seven Brunswick brands, Motive, uh, whatever other bowling ball companies that are out there. Typically, they're going to be a little bit on the duller side. Uh, they're going to be solid, strong covers, typically not always solid. Sometimes companies do make you know, really strong hybrids or really strong pearls. The really heavy oil bowling balls are going to be strong, solid, dull bowling balls. Also are going to typically be asymmetric as well. And if you're kind of a numbers geek, Balls will typically be lower RG, you know, under 2.5, around you know 2.47, 4.8, 4 4.9, with a very high differential as well, well over the uh, 0 0.050 range. And the intermediate can vary, but typically the, the the big factor is the cover stock because, as we all know, or as all we, we all should know, is that the cover is kind of 70 to 80 ish percent of what the ball does on the lane because that is what actually makes contact with the lane. So keep in mind, the cover stock is very important when we're talking about these heavy oil bowling balls, light oil bowling balls, whatever. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what a heavy oil bowling ball is. It's a very expensive bowling ball in your local pro shop, pretty much. Yeah, so for Storm Balls or the Storm brand, it'll be Gem, Reality, DNA, Supernova, pretty much. Those are our top of the line, premier line balls as they call them. Now, the important part, what is heavy oil? Me, Darren, and Chris were having this discussion uh, about a week ago, and that prompted me to make this video uh, because it's not something that I don't think has really been explained in any videos or you know, Facebook posts, or if it has been explained, it probably hasn't been explained correctly. So I'm gonna give you my take. I'm not gonna say it's the most correct take, but from my experience and what I've learned from people, and my interpretation of heavy oil, this is it. It is the volume relative to the length of the pattern, okay? Because if you just look at volume, let's say a pattern has to... Shh, go away. Dogs won't stop barking. You gonna let me explain heavy oil? All right, so if you just take the volume of a pattern, you know, if you're looking at a, a Kegel, Kegel uh, lane graph, or you're looking at a Brunswick lane graph, you'll find somewhere on there, it'll say total volume. And let's just say the number's 28, all right? If you're bowling on a short pattern, you know, anything that's 37 feet and under, 28 milliliters of oil is kind of a lot. That I would consider heavy oil. But if you were to put 28 mils along 46 feet, you know, a long pattern, 45, 46, 47 feet, that same amount of oil spreads out further down the lane, you know, some nine, 10, 11 feet, depending what length we're talking. So that oil becomes like this and further down the lane. So to me, that's not typically heavier oil. When a lot of people interpret heavy oil as maybe long, that can be one of the most detrimental things to people bowling well on long patterns because, you know, they think, Oh, long oil is heavy oil. Uh, if the, the pattern's 47 feet, let's say, you know, we had an old WTBA pattern called Paris that was 47 feet, I think, and it was very low volume. It was like 21 mils or something like that. If you go out there, there's, you know, this much oil out there on the lane, even though it's 47 feet, and you're putting 500 on your ball, 
your ball is, you know, it, it's hooking early where there's no oil, all right? So what you want to do on patterns that are like that, you know, if the pattern is still long but doesn't have a lot of volume, that's where you'd want a stronger core but not necessarily a stronger cover. And this is where bowling gets complicated, all right? Because there's those two main factors in a bowling ball that can dictate ball motion, right? How I like to interpret it is the cover kind of controls or dictates the first, you know, 20 feet or so of the lane, the fronts as we would call it, and then your core selection kind of dictates the mid lane, your core slash layout, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That dictates how your ball's gonna shape in the mid lane. So keeping that in mind, you don't necessarily have to, or you probably shouldn't, be using a very dull, heavy oil ball on a long pattern that doesn't have heavy volume. Now, Mike, what's considered heavy volume for a long pattern? Well, I don't have a concrete number for what heavy oil is. Uh, for me, I'll just put a little guesstimation on it for short patterns. You know, anything 27, 28, 29 mils is probably pretty high volume. That's where you probably use a lot of surface. Urethane balls, that's why they're so good on short patterns because that oil is concentrated in the front and there's also a lot of friction on the back. So you need something that's gonna hook early and really you know, use most of its energy before it hits the friction. That's why you throw urethane or you see people throw really strong, really dull bowling balls on short patterns. Medium patterns, if it gets to about 30, 29, 30, 31, 32 mils, it's probably pretty high as well. And then long patterns, you typically don't see a lot of long patterns with high volume because you'd end up bowling the Bradley, that's pretty much what it is. You're getting into the 33, 34, 35, 36, 40, 50, 60 mils on long patterns. Yeah, it's probably not a lot of fun. That's why you don't see them very often. But yeah, that is my interpretation of heavy oil. Again, it's like an equation. Volume relative to the length. Keep that in mind, but don't make what I say you know, don't make it black and white. Uh, like if you go bowl a tournament and you see the pattern and it's, it's a medium pattern with 33 mils. Yeah, it's heavy oil, but don't automatically think I got to throw a gem. Because as it's probably been explained to you before, hopefully, uh, you know, you watch Darren Tang videos. You probably do. I think every single subscriber that's subscribed to this channel subscribed to this channel. Uh, he's probably explained that there's more factors than just the oil pattern that can dictate how your ball is gonna roll. The lane topography itself is probably gonna dictate a lot about where you play in ball reaction. Uh, the type of oil as well plays a very big part because that's the actual oil that your ball is touching. So everything I'm saying in this video is just kind of a suggestion other than what a heavy oil bowling ball actually is. It's the most expensive bowling ball that you're gonna find in your local store VIP pro shop uh, or TV bowling supply. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for coming to my, my TED talk. No, just kidding. Thank you for coming back to my Ball Splanation episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative. If you guys didn't enjoy it, I hope it was at least informative. That is what a heavy oil pattern is. And if this helped you decide to get a heavy oil bowling ball, let me know down in the comments below. If you're coming to TV Bowling Supply to get a heavy oil bowling ball, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you think I'm wrong and you have some other explanation for what heavy oil is and what a heavy oil bowling ball is, let me know down in the comments below. We could have a discussion maybe if I think your point's valid. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you again so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like, and like I said, drop a comment. And if you like this shirt, this is a new shirt. It's actually, it changes colors. It's blue at the bottom. If you like this shirt, it's coming out soon. Uh, maybe next month, I think. We've got this shirt. We've got another DMC hoodie coming with this uh, this green, the navy type deal as well. We got a couple other cool items as well coming to the website. So link is down in the description below for bowldmc.com. We've got a link down there for EFX if you need a jersey. Use code MTAN or CVIA for 10% off. That link is down in the description below. Uh, follow all of our socials down below as well. Thanks again so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want to see more ball explanations, what kind of topics you want me to discuss, and I'll see you in the next one.